you're joining me on how to use zip forms plus just a note at the beginning this is not a contract writing video this is basically just how to use zip forms you will have to sign up get a username and password once you register to your zip forms plus account just want to go over uh, the top tabs here the only ones uh, I use our transactions and templates and you can see here, here are all the other transactions that I've currently filed starting with templates a couple things you want to do is uh, set up the templates on things that you will do repeatedly you have a sales residential this is one I've created buying a condo buying residential since you do not have anything you want to click new you can give the name of listings you can do sales whatever you choose to do for your templates then you just click the types here once you do that you just hit save at this location it's asking what forms do you want to put in to this template that you call listings at this point be prepared to pause the video I will post a link of the different documents that you'll need now that you're back we're looking at for example document 220 um, it shows up here as the exclusive rights to sell agreement do know that you have two libraries one's the uh, South Carolina Realtors file and the other CCAR so for some reason if 220 didn't show up change the library it's located into you just hit add and that's it for other documents like mold uh, that's going to be a PDF file you can just add document at this location find the PDF file and it'll load up in here for you at this time I want to go back and show you what it'll look like when you have it full with the different documents that you want in there the next thing we're going to do is go into transactions at this point is when you actually put your templates to use so we're going to do a new transaction just name it Tom Seller it's a listing residential and then we'll choose the uh, folder that we need sales residential was the one I had previously saved and then hit save once you go into the folder Tom seller all my documents are already preloaded in here because of the template you can still add documents uh, at a later date into here you can save any one of these documents as a PDF you can email them this is where we'll begin the e-signature process later I recommend taking every one of these documents and uh, printing or PDFing every one of these and saving them to your computer so you have a file that you can print off easily later when you're doing a new transaction you then have a parties tab I prefer to start out here in the beginning and for example adding myself as the li uh, listing broker it's already got my email saved uh, these are fields that once you type them in they do uh, come up automatically And you can't really see it but you'll change, see the cursor change the tabs are hidden but just want to do save next one you want to do seller one Tom seller
and you'll want to go ahead and save an email address in there. So now that I have my parties in, then you could have more sellers. Uh, also, as you're filling in the documents and you're typing in escrow agents or some things like that, it'll create the parties for you. I just prefer to do it in the beginning. Also, with the properties, you have what's called MLS Connect. From here, it's going to ask you for your CCR login information. It's going to ask you what type of property you're looking for. And this is just an example, but you can type in what the MLS number is, include a photo, it'll go out and find it for you. And there's the information and you just hit import and it'll fill in all the information about the property for you. I don't deal with the checklist, services or history, but you can look into it if you want to. So once you're back into the documents, uh, how this auto fills for you is uh, these tabs are set up so that whatever information you type into it, it'll save it. Again, this isn't a uh, contract course, but you can see how easily you can fill the information in here and it'll uh, start filling in the blanks for you. And once you write a price in, it'll begin to fill those. And from here, if you were to go back, it's going to save everything for you at the place that you're at. Be ready for the next video on how to get e-signatures.